Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sertzi. Thanks for joining us. The Hungarian government has just capped prices on six basic foodstuffs. After a marathon parliamentary session, Prime Minister Viktor Orban announced that a price freeze on six staple foods will go into effect on February 1st. They are sugar, wheat flour, sunflower seed oil, leg of pork, chicken breast, and milk with 2.8% fat, fat content. The ruling is that their prices cannot be more than what they were back on October 15th. Pensioners are getting a 5% increase in their monthly pension starting this month. The government hopes that this will help retirees keep up with inflation. However, if inflation goes over 5% this year, then the government says it will also compensate for that. The increase will also be reflected in what is called the 13th monthly pension for last year, which will be paid out in February and which also includes this year's annual pension increase. The largest ever road construction project by Hungary is to be carried out in Sri Lanka. The Hungarian company Beton Ut Epite will build two large motorway overpasses near Sri Lanka's capital. That's what Hungary's foreign affairs and trade minister announced in Colombo. Hungary's Exim Bank is backing the investment and the project is expected to be concluded in October of 2023. Peter Siato said that metal frameworks for the project are already being manufactured in the Hungarian city of Nyerecháza, which will then be transported in March to the southern Asian nation. Construction of the project will then begin in May. The number of foreign representations for Hungarians outside of the country has increased so that more people will now be able to vote in the national election just announced on April 3rd. There are now 29 more lo locations around the world in 146 cities. A prerequisite is that your principal residence is in Hungary. Over the past few years, a number of cities in Europe and in North America have been added, as have the countries of Laos, Panama, Uruguay and Zambia. The numbers of those infected with coronavirus in Hungary has dramatically increased. On Tuesday, almost 8,000 people tested positive for the disease. Furthermore, because of the newest variant, Omicron, spreading rapidly, experts continue to point out how important it is to get vaccinated. Therefore, the government will continue with vaccination drives where you can get inoculated every week this month on Thursday and Friday afternoons and all day Saturday without needing an appointment. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can watch Hungary Reports every night live after the Hungarian language news at 11 p.m. Central European time. You can also catch the show in repeats and online. Thanks very much for watching and Viszonátásra.